Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem without a calculator. So we have 16 to the power of 8 times 5 to the power of 16 divided by 20 to the power of 15. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by simplifying 16 to the power of 8. Now 16, this is the same thing as 4 squared. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace 16 with 4 squared. I'm going to substitute in 4 squared. So now I have 4 squared to the power of 8 times 5 to the power of 16 divided by 20 to the power of 15. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 4 to the power of two, 4 squared to the power of 8. We can think of 4 as a, 2 as m, and 8 as n. So if we want to put it in the form a to the power of m times n, a is 4, so we have 4 to the power of 2 times 8 times 5 to the power of 16, divided by 20 to the power of 15. Now 2 times 8 is 16, so we have 4 to the power of 16, times 5 to the power of 16, divided by 20 to the power of 15. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m, times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So we are essentially factoring out the exponent here. So in this case, we can think of a as 4, b as 5, and m as 16. So now this will equal a times b to the power of m, so 4 times 5 to the power of 16, divided by 20 to the power of 15. Now, 4 times 5, that is equal to 20. So I have 20 to the power of 16, divided by 20 to the power of 15. Now, another property of exponents is that if we have something in the form a to the power of m, divided by a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, we have 20 to the power of 16 divided by 20 to the power of 15. And again, we can think of 20 as a, 16 as m, and 15 as n. So now this is going to equal 20 a to the power of m minus n, so 16 minus 15. 16 minus 15 is equal to 1, so we have 20 to the power of 1, and anything to the power of 1 is itself, so 20 to the power of 1 is simply 20. Now, using these properties that I just taught you and this method, I am going to give you guys another problem, and let's see if you can solve it. We have 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 5 plus 2 to the power of 3. So I'm going to ask you guys to pause the video and attempt to solve this problem. All right, so I'm assuming you guys attempted to try this problem. So we have 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 5 plus 2 to the power of 3. Now, 2 to the power of 4 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 plus 1. So I have 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 5 plus 2 to the power of 3. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 
we can think of A as 2, M as 3, and N as 1. So now this will give us 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 3 divided by. Now I'm going to do the same thing with 2 to the power of 5. However, this time I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 5 as 2 to the power of 3 times 2 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 3 all over 2 to the power of 3 times 2 squared plus 2 to the power of 3. Now what I'm going to do is, because we have so many terms that have 2 to the power of 3, I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of 3 from the entire expression. So I have 2 to the power of 3 for our numerator times 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3 is simply just 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3 is 1. And we have this over. Again, I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of 3. So I have 2 to the power of 3 times. Now 2 to the power of 3 times 2 squared divided by 2 to the power of 3. Simply 2 squared plus 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3 is 1. Now, because both our numerator and denominator are 2 to the power of 3, these two can simply cancel out because 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3 is 1. So now I'm left with 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 divided by 2 squared plus 1. Now 2 to the power of 1, that is equal to 2. So I have 2 minus 1 divided by 2 squared plus 1. 2 squared is 4. So I have 4 plus 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So 1 over 5 is our answer. Now I have one final problem for you guys to see if you guys can solve it. This is really a simple problem. So if you guys use the properties that I just taught you, you can simply solve this problem. So we have six to the power of six divided by six to the power of six plus six to the power of four. So I'm gonna ask you guys to go ahead and pause the video to attempt to solve this problem. All right, so now to solve this problem, I am first going to write 6 to the power of 6 as 6 to the power of 4 plus 2. I'm going to rewrite 6 to the power of 6 in our denominator again as 6 to the power of 4 plus 2, and we have 6 to the power of 4 here. Now remember our property that if we have m, a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 6 to the power of 4 plus 2, this will equal 6 to the power of 4 times 6 squared. And again, we have in our denominator the same thing, 6 to the power of 4 plus 2. So that equals 6 to the power of 4 times 6 squared. And we can't forget our 6 to the power of 4 here. Now I'm going to go ahead and factor out 6 to the power of 4 in our denominator. So I have 6 to the power of 4 times 6 squared divided by... 6 to the power of 4 times. Now, 6 to the power of 4 times 6 squared divided by 6 to the power of 4 is simply 6 squared plus 6 to the power of 4 divided by 6 to the power of 4 is 1. And now, because we have 2 6 to the power of 4s, these two can cancel out. So now we have 6 to the power of 6 squared, sorry, divided by 6 squared plus 1. 6 squared is equal to 36. So I have 36 over 36 plus 1. 36 plus 37, so I have 36 over 37, and that is our answer.